And I would like to call up 3rd District Councilman Jermaine Reed to also bring remarks from the city of Kansas City. Uh, thank you so much. You know, I want to uh, make my comments here uh, a little brief, but uh, I want to do a few things before I go to the brief part. And the first part is uh, just taking a trip down memory lane. Oftentimes we have an opportunity, of course, to hear from Bob. And so I'm going to channel my best Bob Kendrick this morning. And because I think about every time that I'm here in 18th and Bond, just the importance of, of course, this community, uh, but the importance of this very sacred ground in which we stand on for Kansas City. And especially those in the African American community because of course, it's the hollow ground for the game of baseball. And the Municipal Stadium, which was just a few blocks uh, south of here on 22nd Street, uh, there at 22nd in Brooklyn, uh, here in 18th Divine, the offices for the Mine Arts, a nationally known team, the Negro Leagues, uh, was housed right here. Uh, the, the Mine Arts were the most famous black team, of course, in the country in the 1920s and 1930s. It also produced a number of athletes, uh, many of those photos in which we see around here, from Satchel Paige to Jackie Robinson, and of course, uh, the famed Buck O'Neill. And for many years, the offices which were held uh, in office there at uh, 1517 East 18th Street, which unfortunately is now torn down, uh, and by the 1940s, the office was relocated to the historic Lincoln Building. And the Minarchs were, um, they were real heroes for the African American community with parades which were held in 18th and Bond and they marked the opening of the season. Um, oftentimes, and merchant, and merchants and ministers alike supported the Mine Arts uh, and they uh, used them as role models for our community. As someone who is a, a real true believer of history and um, in preparation for coming uh, this morning, I did a little research and I read across an article that was in the Kansas City Call Paper uh, from 1929 and it's over at the, uh, at the Black Archives and it, it said that it encouraged na the neighborhood to attend church with the Minards at Centennial Church which is right over at Woodland Avenue there. And the Minards, they brought attention to the prestigious 18th Divine uh, through their many championships and of course their athletic accomplishments. That article speak, uh, stands out greatly because I think it's about uh, one of the most important things uh, as today. And today as we mark the 99th anniversary of the famed meeting of the eight teams and the owners, uh, we in, at the city of Kansas City, Missouri have really been helping and I have really uh, served as, I guess you could say, maybe the chief advocate uh, for the Buck O'Neill uh, education and Research Center, which of course was formerly the YMCA. Uh, we have nearly $2.9 million that are going to help renovate the actual Buck O'Neill Education and Research Center uh, that will hopefully be up and going and ready by the 100th anniversary. The building entrance, I might add, will be constructed to have a, a highlighted a new entrance uh, that uh, also an outdoor patio space and elevator tower and the north end structure of it. Uh, the building also will be redeveloped as the educational center for the Negro Leagues Baseball. As I close, you know, I'm not, it's not lost on me as well that the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum has come home for this big win here. Uh, this big win here in the district that I've had an opportunity to represent for the past eight years in the third district. And I suspect that you will definitely agree with me that the redevelopment efforts for this treasure uh, in the same place where uh, the greatest players play the game of baseball, uh, this is nothing short of a grand slam. Um, we certainly congratulate the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and salute to the game-changing century of celebration for the Kansas City Mine Arts and their contributions to uh, the game of baseball. And this sacred history uh, is rich for uh, many of the amazing uh, players of the game of baseball which gather to practice and perfect their game every single day. So, to so today we certainly celebrate a, a very big win.